Now I have few tricky questions for you children. Okay. Shall we solve? Okay. So here comes my first question. Okay. You have to arrange and find the predecessor of the given numbers. Okay. Arrange and find the predecessor. What do you mean by predecessor children? Have you heard it before? Predecessor means a number before the given number. Okay. Of the smallest number. Okay. So now I am going to give you a list of numbers. First you need to arrange them from ascending to descending. Find the smallest number and then you need to find the predecessor of the smallest given number. Okay. Did you understand the question? And your options are 25, 26, 33, 39, 50, 20 and 29. Okay. So, these are the set of given numbers. First, you have to arrange it from small to big. Okay. So, shall we arrange from small to big? So, the first step will be arranging from small to big. So, which is the smallest number from the given lot? It is 20. Then comes, very good, 25. After that, 26. Then, 29. Afterwards, it's 33. Then, 39 and finally it is 50. So, now we have arranged the number from small to big. Now, can you figure out which is the smallest number? Yes, 20 is my smallest number. So, if I write here the smallest number, it is 20. And you need to find the predecessor of 20, which is a number which comes before 20. Okay. So, the number which comes before 20 is what? Excellent. It is 19. So, you can write it down as predecessor of 20 is 19. Got it? Did you understand this question? Shall we do one more? Okay. So, here is your question. Now, this was your first one. The second one says the numbers given in the slot are 49, 55, 26, 33, 72, 10. Okay. So, now again the first step is arranging from small to big that is arranging in the ascending order. So, it will be 10. After that which is the smallest number see and tell me it is 35 right. So, 35 then comes here 49 then comes 55 afterwards 63 and 72. So, which is my smallest number? My smallest number is 10. So, the smallest number is 10 and predecessor of 10 is what? What is the number which comes before 10? It is 9. Yes. So, my answer is 9. Is it clear? Was this type of tricky question interesting? Shall we do some more? Okay. Now, the next question is, you need to find the successor of the following. Okay. And your first question is, you need to find the successor of 70. So, what do you mean by successor? 
successor means a number which comes after the given number. Okay, predecessor was a number which comes before the given number and successor is a number which comes after the given number. So, my given number is 70. So, what is the answer? What will come after 70? Excellent, it is 71. Shall I give you the next one? Okay, your next one is 99. Can you tell me the number which is successor of 99? Good, it's 100. Can you tell me a number which is successor of 159? It is 160. Very good. Can you find me a number which is the successor of 999? 999. What is the successor? It will be? 1000, yes, it will be 1000. Okay, shall we do the next question? Okay, so the next question is you need to find the least value. Okay, and your options are now again this is a tricky question your options are five ones then you have two tens then you have one ten and you have three ones. Okay. So, I said this is tricky because they have not given us the figure directly. You have to find out the numerical value. So, five ones is what? Five ones is nothing but it is five. What is two tens referred to as? Two tens meaning it is twenty. Yes, it is twenty. What is one ten? It is 10, yes. And what is 3 ones? 3 ones is nothing but 3. So now can you figure out which is the least value? If whether it is 5, 20, 10 or 3. Good, it is option D which is 3. Shall we do one more? Okay. So your next question is... 15 tens, 5 hundreds, 3 hundreds, and fourth one is 18 ten. Okay. So, 15 tens is how much? 15 into 10. So, it becomes 150. Right. Because whatever is the tens value, you need to just multiply with the given number. 5 hundreds is how much? It is nothing but 500. Zero zero. 3 hundreds is nothing but 300. Zero zero. 18 tens, so 18 into 10, 180, right? So now can you tell me which is the least value, whether it's 150, 500, 300 or 180? Yes, you are correct. It is option A, which is 150, okay? Shall we do some more sums? Now, you have to find the largest value from the given lots, okay? So now, my question says, Find the largest value. Earlier we found out the smallest value. Now we are going to find out the largest value. Okay. And my options are 5 tens, 
six hundred. Three ones and thirty ones. Okay, so five tens means what? Five ten is nothing but good. It is fifty. What does six hundreds means? Six hundred means six zero zero. What does three ones means? Three. Very good. What does three thirty ones means? It's nothing but thirty. So now, is it easy for you to find out the largest value? Is it fifty, three, six hundred, or thirty? Very good. It is six hundred. So option B is the right answer. Okay. Shall we do the next question? Okay. So here is my next question. Whether it is fifteen tens, twenty ones, in ones, one hundred. So fifteen tens is how much? Good. It is one fifty. Eighteen ones. Eighteen ones is nothing but it's eighteen, right? What is one hundred? One zero zero. What is twenty ones? The same twenty. So now tell me which is the largest number? Yes, it is option A, one fifty. Okay, now the next question says you need to find two digits formed using two and three. You need to form two digits using two and three. Okay, and your options are. Twenty-two, thirty-three, twenty-two, thirty, twenty-three, thirty-two, twenty, thirty. So, can you tell me the answer? You have to find two digits using the number two and three. So, it should be. Twenty-three and thirty-two. Okay, so option C is my right answer.